imagine this. The year is 2040. You've just moved to a new city. After your first successful week at work, you make your way home for a well-deserved weekend. Your smartwatch communicates your arrival time to your smart home assistant, which then places an order to your local takeaway. It's Friday, after all. A local autonomous taxi is aware that you need to get home. It arrives outside your office and you jump in. The city you live in is smart. It knows the locations of every single vehicle that drives down its roads. Your city warns the taxi of an incident two miles up the road. Your taxi quickly calculates a detour. Your arrival time remains unchanged. Despite it being one of the most densely populated cities in the world, delays here are a thing of the past. Your taxi takes you to your front door and then requests to use your charging station to charge its battery. You give the taxi permission to charge. As you walk up to your front door, your food gets dropped off by a delivery drone. As the drone is leaving, it detects that one of its circuits is malfunctioning. In response, it travels to a local repair center that is operated entirely by other autonomous machines. It receives the replacement circuit it needed, and off it goes to deliver another package. Once you finish your meal, you decide to take a walk around your new and unexplored city. For this, you put on your smart glasses. Small, sleek, and stylish. They provide you with a head-up display, overlaying your view of the world with the most important data that is required at that moment. Having a sweet tooth, you decide to look for a nice place to eat a dessert. Your glasses project Gordon Ramsay, who chaperones you through a local food district, describing the different mouth-watering desserts available. You enter a gelato parlor and order Gordon Ramsay's suggestion. Delicious. You then continue to explore the busy streets, feeling safe in the knowledge that, in an emergency, if you just look into the crowd, your glasses will identify key operational workers, police, fire, or ambulance personnel for you. Wow, such an amazing world. In this world, Everything is connected. Some of what I just described already exists. However, much of it is still in the research and development phase and could potentially be a reality in the future. One of the underpinnings of what I just described is an idea commonly referred to as the Internet of Things, or the IoT. The Internet of Things consists of billions of networked smart devices exchanging data over the internet. It is already transforming how we go about our daily lives. IoT devices monitor our sleep patterns. They improve our workouts. They allow our homes and cities to become smarter. The IoT is even making its way into our economy through smart factories, where machines monitor one another and make decisions about production and maintenance. Even though we don't always see it, the Internet of Things is everywhere. The main focus of the Internet of Things has always been about data transmission. In the future, however, these IoT devices will be exchanging more than just data. They will be exchanging monetary value. This is more than just the Internet of Things, our vision, is the economy of things. In the economy of things, payments will be streamed in exchange for services. Let us suppose that a drone requires access to a charging point to charge its battery. In the economy of things, the drone will be able to transmit a tiny amount of payment for each second it receives this electricity from the charging point. We refer to this tiny amount of payment, which may be a hundredth of a penny, 
as a micropayment. And the service being provided here is the electricity. Thus, in the economy of things, micropayments can be made in real time in exchange for a service. Such micropayments can be seamlessly enabled through modern payment technologies such as blockchain. However, unlike certain blockchain transactions, these micropayments can be created in a green and sustainable way. Stringing many micropayments together, one after the other, gives rise to a payment stream. If each micropayment was being used to access a small amount of electricity, then the payment stream allows the drone to access electricity continuously so it can charge itself. Critically, with this setup, the drone can access what it needs at that moment, and provided it is satisfied with what it receives, it can rinse and repeat. No prior trust relationships or subscriptions are required. Thus, the economy of things democratizes the accessibility of services. Also, because the charging point is being incentivized with money, it cooperates and helps the drone out. Their individual intentions serve a common good. Thus, the economy of things enables decentralized cooperation. Now let us tie these concepts back to the futuristic world I described at the beginning. Here, your personal wallet stream money in real time for each meter your taxi traveled. When you exited the taxi, the payment stream stopped. When the taxi plugged itself into your charging station, it streamed money back to you for each joule of energy you gave it. Your home made a payment to your local takeaway for the food it ordered. When your food was ready, the local takeaway restaurant streamed money directly to the delivery drone for each second the drone was on its journey delivering your food. When the drone received its repair for its malfunctioning circuit, it paid the repair center by the minute for its fix. Now, coming to the smart classes, because they're small, sleek, and stylish, they only have a limited amount of power and are unable to provide the immersive Gordon Ramsay experience on their own. To enable this experience in real time, your smart classes needed help. If your smart classes got help from a far away data center known as the cloud, there would be lots of delays which would provide a poor immersive experience to you. Instead, your smart classes got help from local high power computers in order to minimize delays. By streaming a payment, your smart classes incentivize these local high power computers to process your glasses video feed and provide you with an appropriately augmented view of your world. The possibility of the economy of things is endless, and I'm very excited to be a part of this world. We are already beginning to see our vision unfold through the rise of technologies such as Airbnb and Uber, where the reliance on middlemen is reduced. Here, an individual offers a good or service and transacts directly with customers. This is a peer-to-peer -peer economy. Our vision is also a peer-to-peer -peer economy, but involves machines too. I strongly believe that the economy of things will revolutionize our day-to-day -day lives. It will enable an interconnected world where partially and fully autonomous devices will offer services to one another and to humans in exchange for payment. A truly peer-to-peer -peer economy spanning people and machines alike. Thank you.